Welcome to Thai Kicks. This is vlog 24. This week, the weather has been all over the place. It looks like it's gonna rain. It doesn't look particularly great. This week's vlog is going to be a bit more practical. We're going to go to the gym. <laughs> Don't fucking look at me. And we're gonna test two different types of shoe. One by Nike, one by Adidas, and which one is the best one to go to the gym with. Now, obviously it's gonna be my opinion and my review, I'm just using it to hopefully help you guys make a decision. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna test these two kicks, two different types of shoes from Nike that are supposed to be gym related shoes. And what Adidas say are gym type shoes as well. One thing I am gonna mention is that the vlog this week is gonna be split in half. So I'm gonna do this part of the vlog, we're gonna go to the gym now and then we're going to come back and part two is going to be for these we're going to be doing a review of these but stay tuned for part two for the review of this shoe and we're going to be trying out the flying it racer no parking uh, versus the ultra boost Zebra Oreo 3.0s. So that is what we're gonna head down to the gym in and test these two out. Tell you what, Sunday drivers, nightmare. This is what I class as a really quality piece of parking. Nice and straight in the space. What are you gonna do, Pokemon stuff? I'm gonna defend myself oh, adequately. <laughs> I don't see you touching it now though. Get out of my face. So I'm a member of JD Gyms wish they gave me discount on kicks but they don't do a bit of a test to give you guys an understanding of what is better a flying it racer or an ultra boost just filling you in on how I'm going to do the test. So, at the beginning of my gym session I always do about 10 minutes of low intensity cardio and I'm going to do it with these, the Ultra Boosts, to start with and um, see how we get on with that. I'll check back in with you guys after I've done that and um, done a bit of exercise with it as well on some other machines and then halfway through We'll swap out for the flying it racers. Um, 
So basically I'm going to start doing a little bit of back work and I'm going to do some triceps and biceps today. So that is the plan and then we will switch up the shoes and I'll tell you how my feet are feeling. races on and see how they hold up for the rest of this gym session. Something I haven't said is if you're quite used to wearing uh, Ultra Boost and you've never tried a Flying It racer before, it doesn't have obviously the same kind of uh, cushioning as the Boost material. It's, uh, it's definitely a lot more solid underfoot. That said, style wise, you know, the racer is a class trainer for sure. You, know, you, you can't turn around and say this is not a cool looking shoe. The only downside of a turn around and say is that you know this is definitely not as squishy as Boost. But what I can say is that this will definitely have more stability when you're doing kind of leg related training 100%. stepper for over 15 minutes which I know is not a long time I started to realize that the comfort level in the racer is a lot different to the ultra boost and um, you know looking at it I wish I'd done it the other way around there in the ultra boost and getting on the stepper I can see where both of them have their uses in a gym situation I know just before Louis was born in um, October, I used to go to the gym quite a lot. So people will be asking why, if you know so much about shoes, are you doing this comparison? You know full well that the races are not going to be as soft as the Ultra Boost. And um, yeah, I do, but I thought it might be good to do something where it's not like a leg day. This is like me getting back into my gym habits. I thought if I do a leg day, I know full well the Ultra Boost is just going to be too wobbly and too soft to do a leg day and the flying it would probably sort of exceed the, the, the Ultra Boost. I haven't been to the gym for a little while and to be totally honest I really need to get my ass back in that place on a regular basis you know diet starts tomorrow as Kai says so 
So we're back, we're washed and showered, and we can now get into, or which one should you kind of be choosing to hit the gym with? Now, for me, as you're aware, through the existence of my channel, I've been extremely pro Ultra Boost. That said, before I did my channel, I loved Flyknit. Flyknit for me was the original knit material. And when I had the University Reds, which you may have seen in a previous vlog, I just wore them to death. I wore them everywhere. I absolutely loved them. Now, one of the big things about these two shoes for me is that they were originally produced for sportswear, for gym or outdoor activities, running, etc. But what I'm now noticing, and as the market kind of changes and how fashion kind of changes, is that these are fashion shoes as well. They can double up as both. So I understand that the amount of money that these shoes cost mean that sometimes you'll have a dual purpose for these shoes. So, you know, what I would say to you guys is that if you do do sport and you want a cool pair of shoes, that you pick the one for you that you think you're gonna get the most use out of. I decided to do this review about the gym because I thought it would be really, really interesting. I've seen so many different people wearing so many different types of footwear at my local gym. Um, I thought it would be quite good to do a comparison of both for comfort and style, but also for, for functionality. And I suppose in some ways, as you would have seen, the Ultra Boost is probably the best for comfort and maybe even style all round. It's definitely one for the cardio kind of sessions that you do, or if you're gonna do classes, there isn't anything more comfortable than Boost. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I understand the Flyknits have no air, but this is serious comfort and the cage gives you that stability through the, the midsection. I think that this is probably the best all round shoe. If you're gonna be doing anything static, leg training, anything which means that you have to put something through your legs in terms of like strain, the flying it wins because it's just got a way more sturdy sole. The sole on this shoe is squidgy enough to, to be able to sort of give it a little bit of give, but sturdy enough to really kind of be um, good for any of those kind of power movements through your legs. And looks wise, it looks pretty sick. So we can definitely agree that this isn't the most comfortable shoe. This is definitely the most comfortable shoe. And this is definitely, this is the lighter shoe, 100%. Whereas, uh, the Ultra Boost, the Boost's a lot heavier. The sole's a lot lighter on this and the amount of boost that's in this shoe makes this a weightier shoe. Doesn't mean it's a heavy shoe, but definitely heavier than the Flyknit Racer. So, which one do you choose? Only you can decide which one is right for you. Are you looking for lightweight, sturdy, stable sole? you go for the racer. Are you looking for something with a bit of spring, a bit of cushioning, and that slipper type feel? You go for the Ultra Boost. I can't make that decision for you. You have to make that for yourself. Write in the comments section below which one you would choose if you had the choice and why. I'd really appreciate it if you write down there. Don't forget to like the vlog. I really appreciate you liking and please, please go on, hit that subscribe button, follow Ty Kicks and how it's progressing. Everyone that's been following me has been great so far. Don't forget the giveaway is still rolling for the Crep Wipes. You can enter the competition by writing in the comment section below, I love Crep and liking the vlog and subscribing to be entered in to win those. The draw will end at the end of March. So you've got a couple more vlogs before the competition is drawn, 
but get your entries in now. This was part one of the vlog. Part two is coming up. We'll be reviewing this, the mystery Nike box. What will I be unboxing? Watch the next part of this week's vlog to find out what this is. Take care. Yeah.